Hi guys and welcome here. So in today's video, I'm sharing with you all some DIY worksheet ideas and activity ideas of math subject for four, five and six year old kids. I mean for kindergartner and first grade kids. These are the activities all included in 100 plus activities set, which I will link it down below for you guys to check it out. These are all I am sharing with you guys so that you can DIY and make it for your own kids. But there are many surprises which still are surprise in this set. Parents, so those who have got it for their kids still have some benefits. I've done a very similar video to this which is related to English subject for 4 to 5 and 6 year old kids as well. Make sure to check it out. I, I posted it 2 weeks ago. I'll link it down below for you guys in the description box so that it's easier for you to check. Now without further ado, let's get started with the video. <laughs> Okay, so the very first worksheet is of a place value. Place value we can easily teach through these kind of worksheets. For example, if the number is 32, the right one goes in the ones and the left one goes in the tens. And this is how you can teach of the three numbers and four numbers as well. But I recommend you to start only with the two digit number. And this is easily a kid can learn. You can also teach by keeping the finger on the number chart from starting when you're teaching numbers to your kids from 1 to 100 this easily makes them understand this is like 79 if i say 79 so the one last digit number is a nine so it goes in one if i say 70 that means there are two digits and it goes in the tens similarly i have created this worksheet and there are many more like this one then you can also do a roller dice and write now what number it is kind of a practice that will make them understand uh, how to make a number by rolling a dice and like a three digit number you can do with the two digit number as well it is very simple one you can just make two sections if you want and write the answer on the third one instead of if you don't want to make a three digit number i mean you can do with the thousands like uh, for the four digit number as well very easy and very effective and also very entertaining next activity idea is of descending order now ascending order is very natural for kids to understand the numbers which which progress in the number line is as ascending order N normally how we teach them the number through the number chart but when it comes to descending order going backward can be a little tricky for the young kids so doing these kind of cut and paste activity is a great idea what i had given is like the numbers in the another page and she had to cut and paste it in a number line over here going backwards according to the direction of the arrow now i have given here from 27 to 0 because of the space but you can go from 30 to 0 50 to 0 100 to 0 you can make as complex as you want but in the starting i would recommend you to keep the number line short because they get exhausted thinking about what will come before the other idea is to give them writing practice sheet like this one with the number line from 0 to 9 to 0 in the backwards so what uh, over here child has to do if the number is 30 then uh, see 0 if there is a 0 in the end they have to go back write number 9 in the ones place and subtract 1 from 3 so it will be 2 and then 29 28 27 they can write till 20 and then after uh, 20 sorry after 0 what comes is the 9 then again they have to go back to 9 in the ones place and subtract 1 from the uh, tens place number so this is how you can teach this is th something little logical that you can teach to only five and a half or above kids so it's much easier to understand but this thing you can definitely teach to your four year old kids as well okay so the other one is the um skip counting by 10 now this one you can easily teach to your four year old and then you can start teaching um, skip counting of five and also of two to your five year old child so this is a set from my 100 plus activity set which i have many times shared on youtube and also on instagram so just in case if you don't follow me on instagram please do i reply to all the dms if you have any query related to any uh, home schooling parenting anything feel free to ask me i keep the privacy very private and i would love to help you out but anyways so this is how this set works 
एंड आई हैव ऑफ द नंबर फाइव एज वेल एंड ऑफ टू सो किड्स कैन लर्न थ्रू प्ले बाय मेकिंग अ सीनरी एंड देन यू कैन ऑल्सो ब्लॉक द नंबर्स इन अ नंबर चार्ट फ्रॉम वन टू हंड्रेड लाइक यू कैन जस्ट कलर द नंबर्स फ्रॉम टेन टू हंड्रेड लाइक टेन ट्वेंटी थर्टी स्किप काउंटिंग ऑफ टेन डू इट फॉर अ वीक और टू and then you can give them writing practice sheet of number 10 and then uh, slowly move towards 5 and then to 2 because 2 is little trickier for 4 year old okay so the next activity is of the two digit addition and two digit subtraction but over here i have kept in mind that there is no carry forward kind of thing going on because it's too much for kids under 6 year old if your child is 6 and a half and you can teach then definitely go ahead but for kids under 6 i would recommend you to use these kind of props now these are the cutouts print tables of ones i also have a of 100 and tens that i will show you in just a minute but these are really great uh, to use at a prop and do the addition and subtraction because that makes it easier in the starting when your child is 4 and you are starting teaching them addition and uh, subtraction but uh, once they are like 4.5 and above then start teaching them using fingers well before using these uh, blocks for addition or subtraction i also recommend teaching them how to read the blocks using these kind of print table which is again in the set uh, is in the set i mean and these are like the visuals to teach them first how to read the numbers and then they can do the addition okay now this is the advanced version of addition so for these you will need these kind of cut out a child has to do is add by seeing the number so these are the hundreds so for example first one says 100 so 100 then it says 10 10 then it says Three, three, one, two, three. First, when they will start reading the numbers using blocks, it can get little confusing. So teach them how to read. Just read these. So ten plus three is thirteen. So one hundred thirteen. If it says like this, then it will be how much? It will be two hundred, two hundred separately. Then this is twenty, two hundred twenty. Three two hundred twenty three. How they will start practicing writing numbers and adding the numbers very very easily. Okay, so the other activity idea is of the cardinal number and ordinal number. So I have a print tables that you can stick on the wall and teach uh, you know orally first and the, uh, these. Uh, you know printable skits can use as a reference to do the worksheets in the starting i have also shared in a reel and a post uh, and also on youtube short that how i taught nervy cardinal number through stones i will link it down below for you guys in the description box but yeah and then there is one more activity which is related to it which is like a uh, child has to color according to what the uh, sentence is saying so for example color second heart violet so she have to do violet then color fourth heart violet so this is how they can uh, do the you know um pattern the other worksheet that you can do is uh, coloring the object according to the position so the uh, child has to only color red in the uh, position that uh, the line is saying so for example if it is saying fifth leaf should be uh, red then it is going to be red then other whatever she wants to color the second is going to be red then first is going to be red so this is how you can give them till whatever number you want once they know the concepts it it becomes so much easier one more activity related to cardinal number and ordinal ordinal number is this one so child has to find which letter is going to be in this position so if it says in the butterfly find the sixth position uh, is the letter r so child has to write r so you can give n number of uh, you know uh, words and n number of positions child to find and write and other uh, one is of the writing the extension to make it a ordinal number so i had only written the cardinal number from 11 to 36 and she had to write what it is gonna be to make uh, you know what extension is gonna uh, be here to make it a ordinal number so for example it is 11 so it is called as 11th and for these kind of worksheet only child will need some assistance and they can use these kind of pages as a reference to write in the start okay so the next uh, activity is of multiplication of 1 over here i have these small cutouts i have a multiplication of 10 as well but over here for example if uh, we multiply 1 into 6 then it will be 6 so if you do these kind of hands on activity in the starting it becomes much more easier for them to understand and it's so much fun actually teaching them through play and then doing worksheet instead of teaching them through pen and paper go for activities 
so this is in the uh, set as well and it says 1 into 6 is 6 1 into 4 is 4 once they know that rem number remains same if we multiply 1 to any number then you can start doing worksheets of uh, multiplication of 1 over here you can see that nervi has done of 1 and then you can move towards multiplication of 10 because multiplication of 0 1 and 10 is so much so much easier than multiplying you know other numbers so this one looks a little tricky for younger kids so multiplication of 10 before giving them 10 in the starting if you give them in the end it can be a little confusing for a four year old or five year old so just give them 10 into 8 10 into 2 10 into 1 in the starting to any five uh, and a half year old kid as well and then move towards you know giving the 10 in any side like on the left or right there's one more worksheet of multiplication which is a multiplication wheel so what you have to do is just give one in the middle and that's numbers that the child has to multiply and write the answer over here so instead of doing the drill in the simple way it's so much you know fun to do it this way so one into nine is nine one into eight is eight one into seven is seven this is how you can make a one ten or any other number if child knows then there is a number book this uh, workbook actually is from nervi's school i forgot to mention that there is only one activity which i'm sharing from her school workbook set so uh, this is like one, my nine book you can make from one to ten book what the child has to do is uh, so nine is an odd number because we see pair of all the numbers but there is one left so this is how they can learn about the odd number and blocking the nine blocks so this is really great for visual practice of number nine so this is how you can see they have given the just nine numbers so much importance in their school uh, for a for a day so that kids can learn number nine from a to z like odd number with number nine how to write it how it is written in the uh, spelling and they have to draw something which are nine so you know and how to make nine like five plus four is nine zero plus nine is nine and six plus three is nine they have kept it in a uh, single digit number which is super awesome so and obviously they have to keep it in a single digit but anyways they are just giving addition to keep it simple for a child so this is what they had to do in one day i think it's a great great idea okay so the last and um very important activity which you can introduce to your six year old or five and a half and above year old kid is related to money matters if your child knows how to add numbers then they, these are the questions they can easily do for example which one is the cheapest one which one is the uh, you know most expensive uh, toy over here or if they want a bus and a car how much they will have to pay so what they have to do is plus the number and write so this is how you can give but if your child is six and above and knows multiplication then you can give the complex questions as well for example if i want three cars how much i will have to pay for it so these are kind of questions are really easy but it totally depends on your child's capacity and age well i really hope that you enjoyed today's video guys if yes be sure to give this video a thumbs up make sure to check out the similar video of english subject linked in the description box and also the workbook set if you will if you are interested in more activities related to seven subjects all covered for seven six seven to eight months then yeah you can do that and thank you so much for watching i'll see you guys in my next one bye